Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making some strappy bottoms called the Lucy bottoms. Today we're going to be using our normal materials, swimwear fabric, elastic, a pattern, and sewing supplies. And if you haven't been to my channel before, there's actually a link in the description with a blog post where I wrote out all the supplies you will need. And as usual, the PDF is available in the description. So I cut the pattern pieces before the video, two of the front and two of the back. Note that I'm doing reversible bottoms, so I chose two different prints. First, we're gonna match up the dots with the dots and the floral with floral, making sure right sides are together. I'm gonna sew them together along the crotch. On one piece, I'm gonna leave about an inch open in the middle and we'll use this hole later on. If you forget to leave a hole in one, you can always go back and seam rip a hole like I've done in most of my other videos. And next, we're gonna match up our two pieces. Again, making sure our right sides are together. I'm gonna sew up everywhere except along the side openings. And after that, we will slap on some elastic right on top. I separate this into two steps to make sure I can apply that elastic correctly, since that can definitely get tricky. And I'm using one quarter inch rubber elastic that I got from Target Trims in LA. This is called Full Flex, is the manufacturer of that elastic. For our straps, I cut two pieces that were one and a quarter inch by 12 inches. I serged these right sides together and then added the same elastic. I decided to use the polka dot fabric for my strap since I thought that would look kind of quirky but still super cute even if I wore the suit on the floral side. But it's up to you what color you want to make the straps. So now I'm going to cut the straps into four equal pieces, six inches each. In the PDF pattern I provided, I have the specific sizing details on the straps, excuse me, since they might be smaller or larger depending on your size, and also if you make your own pattern then it might be different just depending on the dimensions of your bottoms. Next I'm going to feed in two straps into the side, painting them down so they stay secure. I put one at the very top and one at the very bottom of the opening. Do this with both sides. And note that we're just doing the front piece. Now that you've surged, bring the suit out to the right side and don't skip this step or you might end up with something all wonky, just trust me. Uh, now using the one inch wide hole we left in the beginning, you're actually going to take the suit back inside out but this time through that hole and this time you're going to be matching the right sides together inside of the suit. Everything should be laying relatively flat if you know what I mean, if you're doing this right. Nothing should be twisted under there. You should be able to reach in and grab the straps we sewed down in the previous step. Making sure everything lays flat, pin those straps down on both sides and sew.
we can bring our suit to the right side and finish off that hole with a blanket stitch to make the bottoms fully reversible. If you're feeling lazy or don't want these bottoms to be reversible, you can just top stitch that hole, but a blanket stitch will let you make it fully reversible. And here is the final product. You guys, I just made my favorite bottoms to date. These are strappy, but I still have a nice V cut to them. Since I have wide hips, strappy or like bottoms that have too much embellishment, they're too thick down there, they tend to make me look very bottom heavy and wide. Uh, but these actually have enough shape to prevent that from happening. So I can still wear a little more detail without looking uh, disproportionate. Oh yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, you're